Shalom Chaveim. It's great to get a chance to speak to you guys once again. Uh, we've been trying to get all things set up here in Jerusalem since we got here on Wednesday, and things are a little bit slow getting started, internet issues, uh, everything you can possibly imagine, phone problems, and you just name it. But uh, we are getting things in order, and hopefully here the first of the week we're going to be able to really start moving along. Uh, plan on going up today to the, uh, to, the, to the tomb where Yeshua was buried at and rose again and uh, speak on some things that God has laid on my heart there. Uh, it, there's a lot of things happening in and around Jerusalem. I know Hezbollah is, uh, or not Hez, yeah, excuse me, Hezbollah is actually threatening uh, uh, to, to, to riot if, if Israel does not release the, the, uh, the Palestinian prisoners. Uh, that was promised to uh, Mahmoud Abbas as a goodwill gesture. Uh, we have now uh, on the Syrian border up in the north part of the country in the Golan, uh, the IDF has been given permission to shoot to kill. The suspected people around the, the borders up there we just had another incident where suspicious people were planting a bomb right there at the fence in the middle of the night. Generally, Israel usually shoots a warning shot over in the air when they have suspicious people around the border like that. But with all the tensions rising, they've now been given orders to shoot to kill. And that information was passed on to the United Nations uh, so that they would tell the people on the Syrian side as well, this is what's going to happen. So tensions are very volatile. We are moving up towards the Passover season as well. The streets and the, the old city is just filled with people uh, coming in for that time of year and just a wonderful time to be in Israel at the advent of the coming of Mashiach. I'm Stephen Ben-Danun. God bless you.